Good morning guys. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today I've got something really fun that I've been wanting to do and I've wanted to do it on past vehicles and today is the day that Miss Dora gets this very first time on the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. So sit back, enjoy, roll that intro. By the title, you already know what we're doing today. <laughs> I'm super excited because this is set we're gonna do seven things that i hate about my ford explorer all right so first off here here's the problem we are the arctic vet youtube channel that is a corvette that is chevy so step one the first thing i hate about it is that it's a ford now don't worry problem solved now it's not a ford and it is officially the arctic vet which you may have already known because of that sticker that sticker i mean Come on, there's stickers everywhere. There's stickers on the side. They say Arctic Vet. It is a Corvette. This is the Corvette SUV. So that's my first problem. The second problem, and this is the feature that really I was, I, uh, what do you call it? Mm, it's, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. I didn't want it, I compromised. I compromised with this one feature, and that is that Dora, is a front wheel drive explorer and not an all wheel drive now the all wheel drive in this is more of a intellectual the car does its thing and tells you when you need to be in four wheel drive kind of thing pretty cool pretty cool but uh yeah miss dora is only hang on i'm switching my switching the mic Dora is only a front-wheel drive explorer, so that is a super downside. And it kind of, I you know, I get a lot of jokes because, well, why did you lift and put 30-inch tires, all-terrain tires, on a front-wheel drive vehicle? Well, if you guys go back a few months, you'll see that we took her mudding, and she did excellent, absolutely excellent. So there's two, right? Well, Ford is so amazing, and I'm being sarcastic here. Ford, you really need to do something about this, and you need to you need to figure it out. Get get your stuff together and help us Explorer owners. Man, these are terrible. They're terrible. Okay, here it is, right here. One of my best videos is how to replace this and how to fix it and keep it from flying off because this piece right here, one of them flew off while I was doing 70, 75 down the highway. You believe that? It just flew off and almost hit the car beside me. Seriously? Now this one over here on this side, don't worry. <laughs> you might be like, well, speed's the factor. It's not, it's not fellas. This beauty here, it flew off at 20 miles an hour. Yeah, you heard me right. I just said 20 miles an hour. That mint, mint plastic right there flew off. <laughs> and sadly, when these things fly off, um, yeah, they break because they are plastic. And so you have to buy a new set. And they're about 80 bucks. 80 bucks a piece. Not very friendly. Thanks, Ford. So that's three. We could kind of combine this one because people have these fly off too those fly off while we're on the flying off parts here's another part that flies off and they actually recalled this the roof rail cover it flies off of your explorer so what did ford do they made a recall you know what they did they super glued them down so my jb weld that i use to stick on my eight my little frame piece right here b pillar to stick that cover back on is better than the adhesive glue that they used on their roof covers. <laughs> I mean, come on, you can get JB well at any big store really. Put that sucker on there and it ain't coming off. So those aren't coming off. And I get a ton of comments. Well, Trevor, when you get to it and your windshield cracks or whatever and you have to replace it, these are gonna have to come off. 
you're gonna have to break them off the window guy's gonna hate you guess what i'm gonna break them off anyways because you got to replace them when you replace the windshield problem solved yep all right so <laughs> here we go the next thing that i don't like about the explorer is right down here i'll just i'll just show you guys it's right right here actually why is my gas on the wrong side of the vehicle i'm so used to a chevy it's on the driver's side when i pull into the gas station 90 percent of the time you see me on this side and i'm like ah crap i gotta get back in and turn around and go to the other one because it's on the wrong side <laughs> i mean i mean come on there's so many cars that do this and ford is notorious for it and it's very very annoying very annoying now i would like to take you guys inside of miss dora because we're up to four and inside of dora here we go beautiful right she's gorgeous don't mind the mess gorgeous love it got that moon that dual roof uh moon moon roof and sunroof and then we have this lovely oh yeah hold on my sunglasses are stuck oh yeah that's right yeah another terrible piece of plastic that doesn't stay all right and for number five i take you back to the back the cup holder back here yep in the passenger in the rear compartment it is garbage too just like the front plastic man you know i'm starting to realize a trend here a lot of the problem with the ford is the plastic dang Man, my Walmart plastic holds up better than that. Look at that. That's a dang good cutting board right there. Even this one is. Look. Look at that. Yeah. So, those are some of the top things that I hate about my Ford Explorer. Now, let's step into something a little more important. And that happens to be the oil sensor. Um, the oil pressure sensor, sender sensor, they, from the factory, do not come screwed in correctly. They are not installed the way that they should be. So you'll find yourself going down the road one day and then all of a sudden your, your oil is going to go low. You're going to get home and you're not going to know unless you smell it or see it because it'll just start dripping. And you'll have to replace that sensor and you're not going to have any oil back in your motor. I think I had a quart when we pulled up to the house and found out that it was leaking all of its oil out. Because there's no warning sign. There's no light that comes on. Nothing. What is that even? Who does that? Put in an oil pressure sensor like a gauge. Put in a gauge that shows your oil pressure. Come on. I know most people don't worry about that stuff, but here on Car Guys, Car Girls, we do. We we want to know. And yeah, I know there's solutions. I could go get something, but this should be a factory thing. <laughs> now, one last thing. If you guys remember way back when we picked up Dora, gosh, it would have been two, almost three years ago when we got Miss Dora here. <laughs> we had we had quite the fun we went to a little carnival and at this carnival we had gotten dora stuck in the mud so dora was stuck in the mud and by doing that we found one of the t-posts if you don't know what a t-post is out there on the fence it's one of the posts that holds the barbed wire fence all together right pretty simple well miss dora here when we were trying to get out of that mud and not get stuck keep in mind she was completely stock not lifted did not have these tires and wheels had these stock wheels i mean stock wheels that came from the factory on there yeah, well <laughs> it chewed up this little clip right here and now you can see that it does not stay in this will pop out it just pops out and i have not found a way yet to fix that maybe i just need to use some jb well i don't know 
we'll see. But that is, those are the seven things that I hate the most about my Ford Explorer. Now, if you guys own an Explorer, if you own a car, has some similar problems, I want to hear about it down in the comments below. Maybe I can get my hands on one of them and maybe I can make a video like this for that vehicle. I think that'd be a ton of fun. This was a lot of fun. And keep in mind that this is all just for fun, okay? I, I, I've been wanting to do this. I wanted to do this with the Corvette because I had so many things I could say about the Corvette. And I had so many good things, which leads me into the next vlog that we will have. We will have a vlog specifically about the seven things that I love about my Ford Explorer. I mean, I mean, sorry, I, the seven things that I love about my Corvette SUV. So go ahead, click that red subscribe button. We are on our way to one, <laughs> oh, 100,000 subscribers, guys. Go ahead, click that button. We're gonna stop it at 2K and then we, we're really working on, on 10K. It is time for me to head out and go, go about my day again. So don't forget, click that button. We will see you tomorrow in another vlog. Have a great day. God bless y'all. Tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe to the Archivate YouTube channel. We're growing so fast that I can't even believe it. Glory to God, thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and take this off so it doesn't fly away. Can it stick somewhere? No, no, it, 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 it'll just fly off, we'll just keep it.